Hey Magic Mania on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be jumping into another match of Vintage. Cone, I apologize for this taking forever, but everything that could go wrong did go wrong, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to be on Blazing Infect. It's the same deck you saw last time. Uh, take a nice long look if you like. Pause, 1080p. Uh, but the idea behind the deck is you want to go with... Uh, where are you? Ah, here we are. Blazing Shul. Uh, to improve the power of one of your Infect creatures, either Blighted Agent or Inkmoth Nexus, uh, right over here, uh, and you can buff them with either Progenitus or Blasphemous Act. Blasphemous Act because it can be found with uh, Mystical Tutor. So, other than that, it plays a vintage value style deck. There's a couple other combos here. You have the usual Tinker Blightsteel, and you have Show and Tell, which can get Progenitus or Blightsteel out into play. Meanwhile, on the other side we have Hogak Vine, and this deck uh, is silly. My opponent's already mulled to five, so it does have consistency issues, but it, I mean, I i went 4-0 in a Vintage League on it, on Untap, you know, the Untap Open League, with a modern Hogak list, so imagine what a Vintage version can do. Yeah, so we're, no, meanwhile, this is my opening hand. Whee! No mana. So, uh, let's, let's not and say we didn't. Mulligan to seven. Cool. Let's see if this is fine. Uh, it has, yeah, it has everything we need except for Blazing Shoal. Uh, so we're, we're gonna keep it and we'll drop a Blooded Agent. Keep and, one sec, let me make sure I know how to do this. What is that again? Sec. Figuring it out. Trying to figure it out. Uh, I don't. I don't know. There's. There's probably a command for it. There is indeed a hotkey. Uh, send card to bottom of deck. Y. So if I click on it, and then I hit Y, will that cause it to go down? Ah, it does. Okay, cool. Now we can begin. <laughs> All right. You're good to go. I'm sorry. So the tripod fell over, and the camera, when it hit the ground, it's had this thing because it's been dropped before by a certain precious kiddo of mine, where if it falls in a certain way, oh, keep it five. Oh, hit six. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that in just a moment, I think. One more to put on the, ooh, hello, put on the bottom, right? All okay. right. Um, where for some reason the actual the lens will drop, uh, except and so what's supposed to happen is it opens the uh, the gate in front of it, and then the lens gets stabilized facing forward and you know wherever it needs to. Uh, it doesn't so catch sometimes, so, but I figured out that if you shake the camera in a certain way, it gets it to start catching again. Just trying to MacGyver it as best I can. Alright. I will give them just a moment. They've been waiting on me for long enough. The least I can do is wait on, on Cone here. I was about to say, like, Polywara because I, that's your, uh, icon on Discord. It's a Polywara. Wait a minute. Polywag, Poliwhirl, Polyrad. Yeah, so Poliwhirl. There we go. <laughs> Good times. Good times. <laughs> well, yeah. Guess the user is Yun now. Jun? Alright, now we're at five and they get to play. Ooh. Uh. I need to hit Q. That's good. So they know my list and <laughs> force me. <laughs> no! No! No, I'm not. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we're good now. We're good. Good to go. Uh, I've been dealing with some, uh, let's say, lung pressure. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. 
it does not show that I looked at the graveyard. So double Vengevine Hogak. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we'll draw. Let's go with a. Yeah. Yeah. So we we're gonna fetch here. Go down one. We need to find that combo quickly. We could have a turn three KO if we really hurry it. If we find it soon. So find card. Uh, let's look at their deck list again, just to look at the lands. Four wasteland and a strip mine. Um I'll get island. We don't need black mana right now anyway. Right now. Of course as soon as I say that, guess what I'm gonna find? A card that needs black mana. Hmm. But I really don't want to lose to waste. On the other hand. No, it's fine, it's fine. I was about to say on the other hand, uh it's called Snow Covered, right? Not Island, it's Snow Covered Island. So that would be way over here. Or is it just Island? It's just Island. That's right, it's the uh, Guru art. It's the Eclipse art. Phase of the Moon art. Um, alternatively, it, if I let this be black mana and it gets wasted, that's not something that will take out Ink Moth. But that doesn't matter anyway, because we wouldn't have a second mana to activate unless we get lucky. Alright, so fire off the Preordain. And see if that's good. Oh wait, of course it's good. I, I think that there's not anything that they can do here. Yeah, okay. There we are. Wanted to look at the deck just to make sure. Uh, Peep? Is that what it is now? I think it's Peep. Look. Ooh, hello. Look at X is heap now, right? I just want to make sure before I do something that messes us up here. That seems like it, but you know, <laughs> you know, use hotkeys. Okay, hey, but I assume so. All right, let's find out. So, the hotkey is 2G. So G is look at top number cards. Ah, there we go, there we go. Interesting. Interesting. Now I know. 2G. Aha! Okay, oh geez. Well, we have Blazing Shoal. I say we go for it. Tinker goes to the bottom because we have no artifacts and not enough land anyway. So let's put this on the bottom, and that was. Um. Uh, why? Alright. Just in case, send to deck bottom. I just want to make sure. Make sure we're okay. Alright, and then we draw. And put it down. We can still get out raced here, but we should be alright. Maybe. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Next turn we'll play Ink Moth, Blighted Agent, and we'll have, even if they have a Strip Miner Wasteland, we'll be alright. Uh, we could lose to land destruction here. That would be a lot of fun. I haven't seen Basking Rootwalla just yet, but even if they had it in hand, they wouldn't use it just yet anyway. Alright, what you got? Let me look to see if they have any hand attack real quick. Spells are Cabal Therapy, Mental Misstep, Once Upon a Time, and Force of Vigor. Okay. So Cabal Therapy is really strong in this format because every deck is open deck list. So you actually have a decent shot, even on turn one, even in the blind, of actually hitting something. Unless you're playing against like a, a Lutri deck, which those do exist here. <laughs> those definitely do exist. Okay, so Bloodgast, Land Drop. Uh, yep, there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my loud. Oh yeah, yeah. So today's blend is just just a Starbucks French roast. That's all. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. Hmm. Alright, so that's a Deathrite Shaman. Yeah. Oh my god. Three Venge Vines. Yeesh. Okay. 
That's a problem. So untap, draw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we're set to go. Pop. And pass turn. In fact, if we feel like it, we can actually go off with Preordain first so that we can have backup. Uh, what kind of backup would we need? Well, if the Blighted Agent manages to die here, big if, but if the Blighted a Agent manages to die, then we don't have to worry about removal. This deck is completely immune other than like the cantrips and whatnot. The combo is immune to Mental Misstep which was an advantage of running the deck. Now Mental Misstep's restricted, so it's not as big of a deal. Alright, what are we getting this time? Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm so glad it doesn't have T1 Glistener Elf is looking at your graveyard show up in chat. Don't you do it. I swear. Okay. If they name Progenitus, we're fine. We can still go off. That's terrible. <laughs> oh no, give me my lizards. <laughs> no, Geico Gecko. Uh... No haste. No haste on the other, right? I'm just making sure. Oh no, they're tapping. Never mind. I see it now. Alright. I see what's going on. Maybe should have declared. <laughs> it's all good. We got there. Eventually. Ah. Uh, I don't have any black mana for the tutor anyway, but if I did, it would be for doesn't matter. Alright. Let's fire this off first. Just in case. Because if I find Force of Will, I'll have Progenitus Force of Will. We're going to swing with Blighted Agent, obviously. No Ink Moth shenanigans. That would open us up to Force of Vigor anyway, except they have no cards in hand. But generally speaking, you know, there you go. Okay, so cool. It's 2G. Whee! It doesn't matter. Sorry. Why? I guess this is a good, as good a time as any to find out. Yep, if you click on it first, then you hit the hotkey, it works. Uh, so then... Do we even care for this? I guess we do. We'll draw it. And then... Bloop, put that in the graveyard. Play it out. Uh, let's see if we can do Blazing Shoal... Let's see. Reveal to Cone. Reveal to gun. Game two. Oh, <laughs> no lizards. I would have. That would have been scary if the lizards had shown up. A little bit. Not showing progenitus because I don't want them to be thinking about that for cabal therapy turns. Okay. Uh. Yes. Let's play another. Play another without gun. Good grief. Alright, uh, I got that one. Uh, keep existing an open sideboard. And yeah, we have this bit going on. They're alphabetic. I, I wish we went back to the two column system. This would be a little bit easier. A lot easier, right? Why? Why multiple winners randomizing the turn? That may have just been a quick little, like, just to move it on. I can understand that. So Fluster Storm is bad. Uh, actually, let's look through the main deck for cards that are bad. Force of Will is generally terrible. Grafdigger's Cage, on the other hand, is great. So let's go one for one there, especially since we're going to be on the draw. Well, no, it, it doesn't matter too much. Actually, on the draw, Force of Will isn't as terrible. But still, Grafdigger's Cage, way better. Let's take out one Hercules Recall, because it does nothing. I mean, basically nothing. It, it hits hollow ones that they can play right again the next turn. 
uh, looking for other sideboard cards, uh, City in a Bottle. This is a fun little one. All cards from Arabian Nights must be discarded from play, uh, sacrificed, except for City in a Bottle. While City in a Bottle is in play, no further cards from Arabian Nights can be played. It's Bizarre Baghdad. That's it. It's just straight up Bizarre Baghdad. That's the only card we care about. <laughs> the only other card that sees actual vintage play that qualifies uh, would be Library of Alexandria. Probably not something we care for. Okay, so now we need... we still have 60 again after making that move. Uh, anything else? Let me look through for anything that does actual factual nothing. We want to keep Mental Mist up in. Let's see. Dismember is a little awkward, because um, it doesn't actually kill anything, and even if it did, stuff is coming right back. Let's take it out for a sec. Look at some other sideboard cards that might be able to come in. Null Rod does nothing. Really. Ravenous Trap. There we go. That's the one. So we have six Graveyard Hate cards. And we're good to go. That's it. Ta-da! Alright. So, set to go to their turn. Um, here, so let me see if this will work. 7C. Hey! We got it! We got there! Alright, and to be fair, that was with both of us mulling. Although, Cone went to 5, I went to 6. Uh, their deck is borderline like Dredge, where you can you can mull just to Bizarre. Mull until you hit Bizarre Baghdad. Um, this is fun. We have Show and Tell, Blight, Blightsteel Colossus. We can get it out on turn 2. Show and Tell's a little awkward uh, against a deck that has a bunch of creatures. But we'll, we'll make it work. We can make it work. We're going to go turn one, uh, Mox, and then, depending what we find, we'll either play the Underground Sea or the Ink Moth, because it's not impossible that we could find something like Blazing Shoal Progenitus on top. Oh god. What a start. <laughs> Again. Haha. -ha. Alright. Ooh. Something's biting me back here. It's nice to- Ah, oh, ha ha ha. Holy cap, crap, they showed up right on time. Alright, so this should be the only card in the graveyard. It is. Okay, cool. My turn. Woo! Let's go. Let's see. Oh! Took them long enough. Just a lot. Alright, so we're going to save the fetch land, even though it offers deck thinning, because we could find Brainstorm or Ponder later on. So let's go... Here. Preordain. I've heard people make the case before that Preordain should be restricted. And I don't even know that they're necessarily wrong. Uh, <laughs> it would become, what? S uh, Seer Missions? Ooh. Sleight of Hand? Ooh. Opt? I, that's... Ooh. We're getting into ooh territory at that point. Um, let's take both of these and put them to the bottom. Uh, I guess I do have to worry a teeny tiny little bit about... So we'll, we'll play the fetch land here. Alright, let's put them both on the bottom. Why? Why? Draw. Oh, Progenitus. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, hmm. In that case, maybe I do want to play Ink Moth just in case I get there. But... If I play the Scalding Tarn, I'm immune to Strip Mine Wasteland. So this is probably the better play, since we're apparently on Show and Tell this game. Good thing that Hogak is in the graveyard right now. Good times. Uh, we really want Blightsteel for this, not Progenitus. Progenitus is too slow, and we don't care about removal. They don't have removal that we care for. Uh... Let's... Mm, let's do it. Let's do it. This could go so wrong, oh, this could go so wrong. We just shuffled, after all. Or we just, oh, we didn't, no, we didn't shuffle. We just scried to the bottom, I mean to say. All right. We'll play around it. We'll put out our uh, Guru Island again, just because Wasteland is a card. All right. Preordain number two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Gotta shuffle first. 
There we go. There's a, it doesn't do it automatically. You have to do a key for it. Alright, cool. Otherwise, I might get accused of cheating or whatever. I'm just forgetful, that's all. Alright, so 2G. Ooh! <laughs> We could play both of these next turn. Instead of show and tell, we could play both of those. Oh my god. Uh, let's do this, I guess. Mm, there is no chance that they would hit City in a Bottle first with uh, Cabal Therapy. But they have two creatures, so we'll do this. So just in case, City in a Bottle is the more impactful card for this matchup. Um, there we go. All right, and then draw, just the one, okay, good. All right, and then put that down. So City in a Bottle should be the next card. I say should be because um, it is not showing me one like I thought it would, and then we'll pass the turn. But maybe we're fine, maybe. I'll, I'll have video proof if something went wrong. Alright, so what do you got? What you got? Use your Bizarre Baghdad for the last turn. Though they only need one more turn. If they don't find a Hollow One here, we're in actually in okay shape. If they do find Hollow One... We're still in okay shape, actually. Um, so here's, here's the trick, here's the rub. Hollow One can come down this turn because of Bizarre Baghdad and be free. If we... if Hollow One comes down, they probably won't end up having enough cards in the graveyard to get Hogak back. If that ends up being the case, then we can play Graph Digger's Cage, Damping Sphere. Oh, not Damp. Yeah, Graph Digger's Cage, City in a Bottle. And then we actually still have to worry about Force of Vigor. Force of Vigor could get us. I don't think that's something that they'd run, but it's not impossible. Hmm. Uh, but if it works, we'll, we'll take a hit from Hollow One and the Basking Walls again, the Geico Gecko. And then we'll have a turn to play out uh, Show and Tell. Uh, Show and Tell only cares about the card coming from your hand, so Graph Digger's Cage won't stop it. Um, two. Alright, click, click. There we go. For the longest time, I didn't know that you had to move the mouse off of your life total in order for it to actually show the opponent. Alright. Interesting that they're doing it. Uh, that they're attacking and then using Bazaar. I think you're supposed to use Bazaar first, uh, because it gives you a chance of hitting Venge Vines, and if you get enough for Hogak... Ah, uh, there's Strip Mine. Okay, that's alright. If you get enough for Hogak, then you want to actually tap these for Convoke. Alright, so yeah, it's good. Ooh, okay, well... Uh, just the two. Um, do I want to go for the hard KO here? I think I do. Alright, so we'll, we'll play the Underground Sea first, actually. We could play Ink Moth. Hmm. Let's see. Whew, okay. Uh, Test Spell. Let's see if that works. You are. Oh no, the meanest person. You don't even know yet. You don't even know. Ikmoth or... Um, I say we go for Ikmoth. We don't actually need the the kill with that. Now I am. <laughs> yeah, so we, we have kind of a a super hard lock on the opponent. Not exactly, because force of vigor is a thing. But notwithstanding force of vigor, we kind of got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Was that a George W. Bush meme? This... 
You're not dead yet. Why don't more decks play it? Because it is more narrow than Cage. Which hits Oath 2. But, yes, you're 100% right. <laughs> okay, so no more hollow ones. Alright. They, they are indeed not dead yet. They, they can still get me here. End of turn. Blow up uh, Ink Moth. Ah! I called it. Alright, what's the... It's Dryad Arbor. Okay. Uh, ooh! Ooh, okay. I like that. Wait, wait, wait. Exile, exile. There we go. I got there, eventually. <laughs> it took me a sec. And then what was the other one? Uh, Graft Eater's Cage. Okay. Got it. Alright. Yeah, since they already lost the Bizarre Baghdad, this doesn't do as much. Alright, so there's a Mox Emerald. Alright, how many are we talking? Not counting Hogak. Oh jeez, this thing is so tiny. Look at this. One, two, three, and it has to get all the way up to seven. Ah, they got there. Okay. They got there. Big boy came home. <laughs> Alright. Yeet. <laughs> Let's see if they pass. Okay, okay. Cage. <laughs> No doubt. No doubt. Alright. Uh? <laughs> I went 4-0 here with modern GAC. I can confirm. It's actually brutal, though. Yeah, you're not wrong. You are most definitely not wrong. Alright. They're still at 20. Gonna make him do it. What did you bring to class? Uh, what did you bring to class? Let me see. What's the, uh, the hotkey for this? Send to face down pile. Play face down. There we go. Alright. Oh, the... There you go. Oh, Black Lotus? Oh, okay, that works. Oh, he's stuck. How do I... Turn it... Turn it over? Hello? How do I... Has targeted... No! <laughs> Wake up! Where's the key for this? Okay, let's go to hotkey. I was hoping it would show me the menu. Where is turn face up? J. Okay, J. Ta-da! <laughs> They're not dead yet, though. They can see that. Ta-da! Now, the real tech here, the actual attack, is if I can find a Blazing Shell, because then I'll once again be able to create a 2111 Trample Indestructible Infect Creature. Um... We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Actually, we kind of are, if we attack. So, this is 8 on its own. 10? No, I'm a, it doesn't matter for that. I'm looking at the swing back, so blockers don't matter here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, and we're at 17. So, if we attack and they block, then they lose at least something. They lose 1. Uh, then we go to take 16, go to 1. Play it out in case, please. Really unlucky. You never know. Because I, I don't know if they'll see this. Also, they could find a way to make some... Uh, to, if they hold off, they might be able to play a Venge Vine, which has haste. And is a 4-3. Alright. Okay, yeah, two cards in hand. I have a sneaking suspicion they're not going to do anything. Okay, there's Demonic Consultation. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have something? 
Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh. No worries. Uh. Ink moth. Right? Just making sure. Alright. Float. Colorless. And then it's dead. Got him. Alright. So this is fine. Uh, we'll put this on the bottom. And it's Y, I think. I'm going to check again just to make sure. I know. I know. I just, I've just i seen this a bunch of times. But I just wanted to make absolutely sure so I don't mess this up. Hello? Y. Hey, there we go. Alright, cool. Draw. Put that, put that away. Alright. Playland. Demonic Consultation. Blazing Shoal. Let's see. So name a card, remove the top six. Oh, wait, wait, we've got something. It exiles! Ah! No, it's destroy. Oh, okay, okay, I messed this up earlier then. Alright, it was destroy. They exile from their hand, but it destroys... It doesn't exile the card. Alright, so let's destroy that one. Iron Giant is indestructible. It's all good. I forgot that it wasn't exile anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What's the hotkey for this? What's the hotkey for exile cards? It is... Send card to expel S. So we want to go 6S. 6S. I think. <laughs> it's free, so it makes sense. Um, maybe white would have been exiled? I don't know. Alright, so let's see. Let's try this again. 6S. Nope, okay, I have to do it manually. Uh. Whale. They don't break good white cards. You're not wrong, my friend. Can I drag them over? No? Can I open? No? <laughs> I will figure this thing out. Okay, maybe I just have to hit S six times. So click on the deck. One. No. Okay. One. No. Why is this so hard? <laughs> That's what she said. Um, okay, in that case... Oh, this is, this is stupid. Draw to expel. There's one. All right. And then the rest of the text is remove the top six cards, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. And, and reveal the next card to all players. If it's the name card, put it in your hand. If not, remove that card from the game and continue revealing blah, 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 blah. Show me your red card. Uh, it's in here somewhere. I'm working on it. All right. There it is. All right. <laughs> Untap is odd. Uh, but I run four. Let's see. Here. Let me just... How do I... Okay. I mean, it is open deck list. Draw to expel one. One. Oh, this is going to be annoying. No worries. All right, where is a stupid key? Come on, do it. Deck. Why is this so hard? Am I going to have to do this every single time? I'm sure there's a better way. 
Here, here, okay. You can just hover over your deck and press S. That's what I was doing! Now it works! <laughs> I thought I was doing that. <laughs> monk S. Big Monk. Okay. So here we go. Oh, don't click on it. Hover over it. S. S. Hey, we got there. Matter of time. What is that? Uh, Blasphemous Act? Yep, okay. Well, I know they're there since I only saw one earlier. A. Oh, there it is. Demonic consultation is restricted. There it is. Whale. Whale. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> City in a bottle <laughs> was stupid, and <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Force of Vigor is cool, though. <laughs> Can't always get what you want. Okay, we're just being a jukebox here. <coughs> didn't have the second bazaar. To be frank, didn't have the second bazaar. Um, that would have made it better, to be sure. The city in the bo in a bottle with the second bazaar. Strip mine showing up was better in that case, to be fair. To be fair, yeah, preordain, <laughs> restrict preordain, folks. Think of handle mulligan slightly better, but it is what it is. Your deck is strong, but the consistency sometimes gets you. I feel that pain. I do. I mean, I'm a combo deck, but at least I get to run Ancestral Recall and time walk and brainstorm and ponder and four preordains and demonic consultation and demonic tutor and vampiric tutor and empiric so you, you get the idea I can make myself consistent all in mulligan <laughs> yes only a lot I like that unlike dredge you can keep a hand without bizarre However, ooh, just left. Inadvisable it may be. Oops. Oops. Alright. Well, so that's that's how that went. Got him. Got him. Alright, that's it for now. Take care, Magic Community. I guess I'll see you all later. Hope you're enjoying seeing some vintage again. It's been a hot minute since, since we've actually gotten to play some, but uh, I... Appreciate getting to jam it again, and with Infect no less, because of course T1 Glistener Elf isn't playing Glistener Elf, but is playing Infect, and we want off Infect. Woo! Alright, take care everyone. Bye bye.